Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So back with another video and this video is very important because in this video we're going to learn how to calculate exact trigonometric values of sine 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 and same goes for cos and tan. Now the reason why this is important is because this is something that has been recently added in the syllabus and it's been added in the Cambridge math as well as the ad math syllabus. And the reason why we should be able to do this without a calculator is because now there is a non-calculator paper in maths as well as ad maths. So you can either memorize all these values, okay, that's perfectly all right, or what you can do is you can learn the trick that I'm about to share with you which will help you figure out the values there and then and you know you won't have a lot of stuff to memorize so do keep in mind that the important angles or we call them special angles are 0 30 45 60 and 90 and you need to know this values of these angles for sine cos and tan so the trick is as follows now here is square root of 0 1 2 3 4 divided by 2 now observe that here we have how many values 1 2 3 4 5 and inside the square root also we have 1 2 3 4 5 values okay so 0 is the first value and we want to calculate sine of 0 so what you do is you pick the first value from the square root which is 0 you take the square root of it and you divide by 2 now what's square root 0 we all know that's 0 0 divided by 2 is also something we all know that is 0 so there you go sine 0 is 0 simple as that then 30 is the second value so we pick the second value from the square root we take the square root of it so that's square root 1 divided by 2 and what's square root 1 that's 1 1 divided by 2 is what sine 30 is and you know keep your calculator with you keep checking the values and let me know if i'm wrong now 45 is the third value so i'm sure you guys figured out the pattern by now we pick the third value take the square root of it so root 2 upon 2 that's it that remains root 2 upon 2 and you need to know the exact value so that's why we're not going to write it in decimal because it's practically impossible to write this in decimal without a calculator. For 60, we pick the fourth value, which is three. So root three upon two, and we can't simplify this. So that's it, that's your answer. For 90, which is the last value, we pick the last value of this inside the square root, that's four. So root four upon two, root four is two, two upon two is one. So there you go, that's the value of sine 90. Now, what do we do for cos? This is where it gets interesting. So for cos, what we do is we simply reverse the values, okay? So whatever sine 90 is, is going to be cos 1. Or in simple terms, we're just going to write these values, but in the opposite order. So 1 and then root 3 upon 2 and then root 2 upon 2 remains the same. And then 1 upon 2 is what cos 60 is. And then 0 is what cos 90 is. Now, what do we do for tan? Now, for those of you who know trigonometric identities, you should know that tan is basically equal to sine upon cos. If you don't, nothing to worry about. All you gotta do is divide the value of sine with the value of cos of the corresponding value. So for example, tan zero, we'll take the value of sine zero, divide by cos zero, so that's zero upon one, which is equal to zero. Then one upon two, divide by root three upon two, so one upon two divided by root three upon two, two and two cancel, and the answer is one upon root three, which if you rationalize, you can also write it as, so let me write this neatly first. So if you rationalize this, you can also write this as root three upon three, okay? So that's a concept, that's another concept, by the way, which has been added recently. I'll make a video on it soon, but yeah, you can do that. Now root uh, for tan 45 we take the value of sine 45 divided by the value of cos 45 they're both exactly the same as you can see therefore the answer will be one for tan 60 we take the value of sine 60 that's root 3 upon 2 divided by the value of cos 60 that's 1 upon 2 2 and 2 cancel and the answer is root 3 and there's no need to write this as some other value this is good enough then for tan 90 what do we do for that for tan 90 we do 1 divided by 0 now what's 1 divided by 0 not 0 if that's what you were thinking 1 divided by 0, in fact, anything divided by 0 is infinity. Your calculator gives you a math error, which basically means infinity. So here we say infinity. Okay, I can think I can do a better job with that. Yeah, there you go. So tan 90 is infinity. And that's it. That's the end of this video. And this is how you can memorize exact trigonometric values. I hope this helped. And if it did, do leave a like and make sure to share this video with your friends classmates and whoever you think could possibly benefit from it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure to do so so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye